Hey everybody, it's me, Jimmy B, coming at you here from the Dummy Blog Studios. Dummy Blog, the dummyblog.com here in Orlando, Florida. Doing an unboxing today on a really cool ventriloquist figure that just came in, and I want to show it to you. So let's open up the box. Always the fun part to begin to dig in to the uh, packing material that always comes uh, standard with every ventriloquist dummy that you get. Oh, oh. This is a well-wrapped head, and we have a body. We have a body. I'll take the body out first. Put the box down here. Looks like the He's been handcuffed back here. Actually, it's set pretty nice together. Now, if you're on the uh, vent forums on Facebook, you've probably seen this figure recently, but we'll get to see him in person. These are some really nice wood carved hands. These hands were carved by Dennis Hall and the paint was done by Mike Palma, my buddy Mike Palma, Mikey. from just down the road. Uh, Mike and I have been friends in ventriloquism for a long time, and uh, this figure was actually, the head and the hands were carved by Dennis Hall, and the mechanics, uh, some of the mechanic, the head stick, and the paint was done by Mike. Um, we're going to kind of cut into this bubble wrap here to free the head. Now, when you're when you're if you get a puppet, and oh look, he did it. He did it right. You get a puppet. You always want to be careful if you're going to use a knife cutting into the bubble wrap because you don't want to cut the figure. Cut the figure, slice the paint, nick the paint. Um, Mike did a great thing here. Put little tabs on, bent the tape over so it creates little tabs so it's easy to pull off and you don't even have to use any sharp objects to get this thing out. So we don't even need it. So let's unroll, unroll the dummy and see what we have here. Dun, 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 dun. Bubble wrap can go away. So this figure, sorry, I gotta look at it too. This figure is really, really cool for a bunch of reasons. Again, the head was carved by Dennis Hall, it's wood. Um, the figure has side to side moving eyes and those eyes are, they pop. I mean, we need to get really close up on those eyes blue poppy eyes. He has raising eyebrows and of course mouth. And these mechanics are smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Um, they just move so effortlessly. And you can see I'm going to let go of this trigger. And this mouth is just super responsive and smooth. So that's cool. Um, this figure, the face, is inspired by a Martin Stevens ventriloquist figure, which is actually in the Vent Haven Museum. Um, it's one of my favorite figures in the Vent Haven Museum. It's one of Mike's favorite figures in the Vent Haven Museum. So Mike asked uh, Dennis to carve a figure that was very uh, similar, that was in a similar style as to the Stevens figures. And this is what we he came up with. And it was painted, like I said, by Mike. And now it's over here in the Dummy Blog Studio. So check it out. So again, we've got rising eyebrows, side to side eyes, and moving mouth. If you come down here to the stick, you'll see we have an index figure tr trigger, which is my preferred trigger. And you've got these nice little wooden levers. You have uh, the eyebrows here, and then you have the eyes in the back of the head, um, which is a good place for them. 
And so let me drop this head into the body. The figure has a little um, eye hook eye, uh, hook on the bottom so you can headlock it in so it doesn't fall over or makes it more stable. And so here we go. The Martin Stevens, Dennis Hall, Mike Palma collaboration. Okay, how you doing there? <laughs> yeah, glad to be out of that stinking box. Yeah. And now I'm here on camera. Oh, I didn't know I was going to be on camera. You should have told me. I would have done my hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, hey, thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. And thanks for watching this video, unboxing thedummyblog.com. I'm Jimmy B. Stay classy.